from tonight, the rustling spectacular getting underway at the beautiful Capitol Center. On Saturday night, January 3, scheduled ladies and gentlemen to compete will be the Hangman. The Hangman squaring off against Mr. USA Tony Atlas. In addition to that, the tag team title, the championship on the line. The newly crowned title holders Tony Garea and Rick Martell will square off against Lou Albano's latest tag team find, the Moon Dogs. And then from there, the Big Cat, all six feet nine inches of Big Ernie Lad, squaring off against Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. That's right, Atlas will take on not one, but two men, two extraordinarily calibered wrestlers in the Hangman and also the Big Cat, Ernie Lad. It's never been done before in pro wrestling. Atlas wants to prove that he can do it. He has his opportunity two weeks from tonight. Not what's standing the main event, the World Wrestling Federation title up for grabs the champion. Bob Backlund meets the number one contender from South Carolina, Sergeant Slaughter. Our guest now, Bob Backlund, the champion. And Bob, this is going to be perhaps an uphill battle. Yes, it is. Uh, when I won the world's title, nobody said it was going to be easy, and it seems like the opponents get, keep getting tougher and tougher, and this uh, Sergeant Slaughter is a very, very tough man. He's a man that i got a lot of respect for because he's he's worked hard all his life, and uh, he's been pushing people around all his life, too, uh, being a sergeant in the Marines, pushing around uh, the young uh, young men that come into service, uh, making them do things well. That's his style, though, yes, Bob. That's what he likes to around. do. And I know he thinks he's going to push me around and push me right into that Cobra crutch and possibly injure me and put me out of professional wrestling and get this title from around my waist and around his. But I got another thing, too. I'm going to go in there and give it 100%, and I want to defeat this man just as bad as he wants to defeat me. So it's going to be pretty interesting, and the best man will win, and I'd like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Bob back on the World Wrestling Federation title holder. Now our guest will be the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. Along with Sergeant Slaughter, the number one contender. Smile on your face, Grand Wizard. Indeed there is, McMahon. Before I say anything about the sergeant, I just want to say one thing about Tony Atlas. This man, I didn't think it was possible, but he's even dumber than he looks. Here's a real muscle head. The hangman can beat him by himself, and the whole world knows my man Ernie the Cat Lad can chew him up for breakfast and spit him out, just like Sergeant Slaughter is going to add the necessary class, the necessary dignity to the World Wrestling Federation by defeating Backlund right in our nation's capital. How appropriate for you, Sergeant. You know, it's nice to see Ronald Reagan in there. It's nice to see the draft back. And it's going to be even nicer to see you on your way out, Backlund. Because when I get the Cobra clutch on you, it's going to be all over. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Sergeant Slaughter along with the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, our guest, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. And Tony, the fans of Washington are really looking forward to you. Taking on not one, but two individuals. What made you do it? Well, you know, the last time I was in Washington, uh, I had a, a, a strained ligament that was unable to wrestle, and I felt like, it, in a way, I let the people of Washington down because the people I always came out in the Washington and Maryland area to give me the, all the more support that I needed in order to um, win my matches. And when I was unable to wrestle, I just felt that I let them down so much that I made a, a, a gesture to the promoter to, um, that I feel so good that I even take on two men. It, it really didn't matter to me. All I want to do is get back in Roston and get a chance at Ernie Ladd. Somewhere along the land, uh, along the land, the Grand Wizard and Ernie Ladd overhear this, so they got with the promoters and worked out a thing where in order for me to wrestle Ernie Ladd, I would first have to wrestle the Hangman. And if I go through the Hangman, then and only then will I get a match with Ernie Ladd. Where Ernie Ladd, if I got to go through the Hangman in order to get a, a match with you, if I got to go through the Hangman to wrestle you later, on in the evening, that's how it's gonna be. The hangman, hangman, I know you somewhere listening, you planning on hurting me, putting me out of wrestling, in order for me not to get a hold of Ernie Ladd. But hangman, I'm gonna give you each and everything I got, and Ladd, with me and you get in that ring, and there ain't gonna be no whole lot of talking and shucking and jabbing and bragging about what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do, Ernie, I'm gonna wrestle you to the best of my ability, and along with the people in Washington behind me, you in for trouble, brother. Thank you very much. Mr. USA, Tony Atlas meets two individuals, Hangman and Ladd, in Washington. 